My team are a bunch of pagans, isn't it? <laughs> They're a bunch of pagans. And I don't like mediocrity in it. So I shouldn't stand for mediocrity. But my team is absolutely mediocre right now. Lots has happened, obviously, since the last time I did a video, which would have been on Friday night. And that was during the Arsenal-Southampton game, which ended up being 3-3. So that's where we're going to start. League title is done because Manchester City are going to beat Arsenal on Wednesday. And then it's literally just peak for them and for, for, for the foreseeable, isn't it? Um, Arsenal 3, Southampton 3. Really, really good game. Really eventful. Southampton took a 3-1 lead. Um, and then Arsenal did what they usually do is mount a comeback. But this time it was too late. There was no Bournemouth 2.0 here. Um, and they've dropped more points now. So that's the last three games. And they've drawn three times. And they've dropped points in every single one of them because they, they have been ahead. Uh, in the previous two, and then obviously this one against Southampton, which is the the, the, the basement club at the moment, um, ended up getting one point there as well. Southampton, I still think, are going down. Um, but Arsenal, it is peak for them now. It is so, so peak. Having to go to the Etihad as well to pick up a result to keep their title hopes alive, it's done. They're done out here. It is absolutely finished, and I could not be happier. I don't care about what's happening to my club at the moment. My club are in disarray at the minute, so I can laugh at other people's misfortunes. So, ha! And there we have it. Fulham 2, Leeds United 1. That was from Craven Cottage. That would have been the early kickoff on Saturday. Again, another really, really good game. Um, I thought Leeds played, played quite well, actually. But Fulham just have that quality. They're very, very intricate as well. I do like what they do in the midfield as well. And they've got really, really good ballers in there. Like Harry Wilson, William, um, you know, Decor Dover Reed is everywhere. He's not necessarily a number nine. He was kind of just sort of being anywhere he wanted to be. And then you've got um, Palina in the middle as well, just kind of controlling it all, basically breaking it all up. And then you've got uh, uh, Harrison Reed in there as well, who's a very, very neat and tidy player. They've got some good tech ballers in there. Um, and Fulham have pretty much been doing this all season. I think they've been phenomenal, to be quite honest with you. Um, they probably won't finish anything above ninth, but you know, top half finish for Fulham. I had them down as relegation candidates at the beginning of the season. As for Leeds United, it's looking very, very dire for them. They've got Leicester City this evening. Um, not sure on that one. I'm not sure if they're going to pick up any points there. Leicester have obviously won their last game at last time out as well. Um, but that's going to be a tight, tight finish, obviously, to see who's going to be relegated and obviously who's going to survive. Um, Crystal Palace versus Everton That was from Selhurst Park Not much really to write home about this one Palace uh, were playing against Everton f 10 men I think I can't even remember when Everton got up and played off, To be quite honest with you um, It was a decent majority of the game um, but Couldn't break him down um, So that's Roy Hodgson's first draw since he's been back um, Decent point for Everton Who are obviously in free fall at the moment um, but again, not much really to speak about the, uh, with regards to that game. I didn't really watch most of it anyway. And from what I saw, it was quite dead. Um, Liverpool 3, Nottingham Forest 2. Probably, arguably, the game of Saturday. Um, really, really good game. I thought Nottingham Forest gave a really good account of themselves. But Liverpool's you know quality just told overall. Um, and Salah was on the score sheet again. <coughs> so, a nice three points for them which puts them very nicely in the picture for a top four finish. Now they are right behind Spurs um, at the moment um, and could obviously force uh, a few other results. I don't think Liverpool were great over the weekend, to be quite honest with you. I still think they're too slow. still think the build-ups are very, very slow. And Nottingham Forest gave them a run for their money, to be quite honest with you. So unlucky on Forest. Um, on another day, they could have actually won the game. Uh, but no, Anfield ended 3-2 to Liverpool. Brentford won versus Aston Villa. And that was one as well. One all draw from the G-Tech. Um, little bit of a surprise with that one. Aston Villa were flying at the minute. But Brentford are one of those teams at home that they can turn it on at any given time. Um, and it just so happened to be against Aston Villa. Uh, Douglas we scored in the 87th minute. Uh, an equaliser for Villa. Um, so Villa, again, undefeated now in, what, six, I think it is now? On a really, really good run at the moment. Um, and they've got a, a, a difficult one tonight as well, um, which we'll go into in a minute. I believe it's Fulham, but we'll, we'll definitely go into that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, Leicester City 2, Wolverhampton 1. This is live from the uh, King Power Stadium. Leicester City's first win in about six... Six? Yeah, I think it's five, five or six. I think the last Leicester City win I can recall would have been against us. And I was away in Malaga at that time. And this would have been in, what, February? 
And we're almost in May now. That's mad, isn't it? I think that's, that was their last win. Since then, they haven't won a game, I don't think, in the Premier League. But Leicester City 2, Wolverhampton 1. Unlucky on Wolves. I thought Wolves played quite decently. But I think Wolves took the lead as well. But Leicester City came back, roared back, actually. Um, ended up being a very, very valuable win for them. Jamie Vardy helping them get a penalty as well. Um, Ian actually dispatching. And then Castagna hit the winner in the 75th minute. Um, which was obviously great for them. That uh, obviously you know, doesn't allay their fears of relegation, but they're not going to be sitting bottom at the moment. Um, but they need to build on that. And they do have another difficult game tonight as well, Leicester City, um, against Leeds, which is obviously you know a relegation six-pointer, I suppose. Um, so, but we'll, we'll get into that in a moment as well. Uh, Newcastle 6, Spurs 1. Not much else I could really say to that. We were take we were five nil down inside twenty minutes. <clears throat> twenty minutes, I think it was. Um, it was just poor. Started with a back four with defenders that can't defend. Perisic is not a defender. Pedro Porro is not a right back. Eric Dyer is not a centre back. They don't work in a three. How are they going to work in a four? And then you've got Saar, Skip and Hoiberg, which is the most unspiciest midfield you could ever think of. No tech whatsoever. Nothing creative in there. It was just horrible to watch. Newcastle absolutely pammed us. And it could have been more. Um, I think six flattered them, to be quite honest with you. Um, there's not much else to say after a beating like that. And, you know, it's usually when we go up to Newcastle, then... I think I, remember, I recall us getting, going up there in like the nineties and getting slapped seven up there. So we do like to catch licks up there, didn't we? Catch licks up there five as well on the same year that we were supposed to win the title. Supposed to win the title the year Leicester won it. Yeah, we got Pam last day of the season there as well. We got beat five one there as well. So yeah, when we go to Newcastle, we get absolutely clipped. We either win or we get battered. Um, and in this case, we got absolutely hammered and rightfully so, deserved. Since then. Um, Stellini's been fired. Um, Ryan Mason is now going to take over the team on an interim basis until the end of the season. And then we're going to find out who we're going to get as a new manager. I am hoping it's Nagelsmann. Um, I did ask for Pochettino, but Poch is looking like he's going to Chelsea at the moment now. I think that's, uh, that's almost about to be finalised. So Poch could be Chelsea's new manager uh, within days now, which I'm a little bit annoyed about. But good luck to him. He does deserve another big job after the job that he did with us. And he'll get money with them, which is what he was crying out for us to do. And obviously, we didn't we didn't do that. We didn't back him. Um, so, you know what? Serves us right. Poch, do what you got to do. And hopefully, it becomes a success for you. Um, Bournemouth nil, West Ham 4. This will round up the weekend. This ended up being a rousing result for West Ham. Um, I think they finally woken up now. Um, Bournemouth absolutely beaten to every single second ball. West Ham just seemed to have a game plan that worked. And every single time they scored, it was down the flanks. Um, and a great goal from four hours as well. I mean, that, that scorpion kick, wicked goal. Um, West Ham, not again, another one not really allaying their fears of relegation, but looking in a better position than others. I still think Bournemouth are getting pulled back into it. Um, and that's just me. We move on to match day 33. So obviously, um, there are games all this week. So that's why I've done a video early. Um, and then I'll probably do another one sort of what Friday after the games are done, give you that roundup and then we'll go through Saturday and Sunday again. So tonight, Wolverhampton versus Crystal Palace. I'm going to go with a Wolverhampton win, but I think it's going to be just a one goal. I'm going to go for one nil Wolverhampton win there. Uh, that's for Monanu, by the way. Aston Villa versus Fulham from Villa Park. I will go with an Aston Villa 2-1 win. I just think Aston Villa have too much for Fulham at this moment in time and are on a better run of form. Uh, Leeds United versus Leicester City is also tonight. That's the one I can't really call. I want to say it's going to be a draw, um, but I do see a, a, a winner in there for one of the... I don't even know who it is. I, I'm going to go with a draw, potential Leeds win, um, just for the fact that they're at home. Um but the result of this one will not surprise me at all because they're both capable of beating each other. Um, but we'll go with a draw, Leeds win, slash. Um, Nottingham Forest versus Brighton. That's from the City ground. I will go with a Brighton away win. Uh, Brighton played <coughs> quite decently over the weekend against Man United in the, um, the semi-final of the FA Cup. 
Um, and I think they'll want a bit of retribution um, in this next game. They'll want to put the ball in the back of the net. So I will go with a Brighton 1-0 win against Forest. Chelsea versus Brentford is also tomorrow. That's from Stamford Bridge. I'm not sure who the manager is going to be. Um, obviously, Lampard is, is obviously in there at the moment. Chelsea have been having a rough time of it lately. Um, I don't see that getting any better. I will go with a one or draw there. Chelsea 1, Brentford 1. Uh, West Ham versus Liverpool from the London Stadium. That's also tomorrow. Um, tough one to call. Liverpool haven't really turned the corner yet for me. Um, West Ham have a really, really, really good, good result uh, last time out against Bournemouth. But Liverpool are one of those teams that like to go to London Stadium and get the result. Not a foregone conclusion, this one. And I'm inclined to go with a one or draw on this one. Just based on the fact that West Ham are on a really sort of not upward curve, but that last win would have given them a bit of confidence. Um, Liverpool don't look like they're you know out of their sort of mirrors yet. So lots to see on that one. I think that'll be a really good game as well. Then we've got the big one, Manchester City versus Arsenal. That's from Yeti Had. I've already told everyone that I know I see Arsenal proceeding about three or four in this one. Um, I see Harlan getting a couple at least. De Bruyne might get one. Maybe Mahrez will get one. Grealish will probably run the show like he did last time. I don't see any hope for Arsenal here. So I'm going to go with a 3-4-1 scoreline. I just think Man City, the fans would be up for it. I just think Arsenal are getting panned and panned out the title race. The funny thing about that is that, <coughs> is that they, they all know. They all know they're out of a title race. They're trying to say, oh, it was all about the top four. You were in a title race and you blew it. Yeah, second in a first, second in a one horse race. So put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, Thursday's games, we have a, a couple here as well. Southampton uh, versus Bournemouth, that is from St. Mary's. I will go with a draw, one all on that one. Everton versus Newcastle, that's from Goodison Park. Under the lights, that's not an easy game for Newcastle. Um, I know they're coming off a big win of us, but I think Everton might pull off something here. I will go over one 0 win Everton over Newcastle. Tottenham v Man United. Ryan Mason's in charge again. Again, another difficult one to call now that Stellini's not there. Um, I will go with a Manchester United win. I think it will be narrow. I think it will be a two-one. But again, I wouldn't be surprised uh, because obviously Ryan Mason is now our, our manager interim until the back end of the season. I wouldn't be surprised if he pulled off a result with this team as well. Um, that's all. That's really it for me at this moment in time. Um, I'll do a Friday one, um, which will be match day 34. We'll go through the games of the weekend then. Um, this one was a really, really quick video, so I want to try and get through it as, as quickly as I could because I've got to go uh, do a few things on my end. But, um, yeah, we'll roll on. We'll roll on. Premier League is 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 it's in its final sort of uh destination if you like we're down at the final straight it is about to end soon only about eight games left and we're going to enjoy them i don't care if we ain't got a manager i don't care if we don't get top four as long as Arsenal don't win the league that's all i care about um but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely talk again but thanks for uh for watching and uh we'll, we'll speak on friday in a bit